What's up guys? <clears throat> so this is a almost like a test vlog. I did this when I got a different camera before um, the GoPro Hero 4 and this one oof, there is no low light performance on this bad boy. It's like five o'clock in the evening um, so I'll just make this quick but I'm gonna start I'm gonna try to use <coughs> The HTC RE camera, the little periscope. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen um, some videos, uh, some pictures of uh, it uh, unboxing and different stuff like that. Uh, as of recording this, I haven't posted the unboxing videos. I bought that, the uh, windshield uh, suction cup mount that it's on right now, and um, what was the other thing? Oh. A little charging dock which is really cool I like being able just to take this off and slap it onto my desk and it's charging um, the other things that's real cool about this and I'll get into it in the video but it has like a grip sensor so the way you turn it on is as soon as you pick it up it knows you're holding it so you can snap a picture or start recording like that um, it also has some slow-mo obviously low light performance is horrible which I knew because the night I got it I <clears throat> I did the same thing uh, with my GoPro as I walked around the house um, in, in, you know, down my hallway, which was like dark and watching the feedback or the uh, video playback of the GoPro, it looked fantastic. Um, this one, obviously not so much, but that's to be expected. The GoPro was $500 and this is $200. So the thing that I really... Um, intrigued me about this camera I wasn't looking to get it I was at Best Buy and had some um, Best Buy credit uh, for something that I had returned and I was looking at um, like another GoPro to do some different stuff or um, or no, no 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 I'm sorry I, I was looking at the different GoPros for, for some a different reason I was looking at the Sony Sony has an action cam and they had a mini which is real small but it came with a kit and it was 250 bucks. It came with like the remote LCD, which I didn't need any of that. But I liked the way how little the camera was. So I was like thinking about it, and I walked away. And then I walked by the HTC. They had a little re-display, and they had a few of the cameras left. And I, had, quite honestly, I had totally forgotten about them. It wasn't anything that was really on my radar. I remember when they were first announced, everybody was talking about them and whatever, blah blah blah. So I decided to give it a shot. But the one I really like the form factor because. One thing that I'm really not good at is vlogging out and about. Obviously, I can do it in the car by myself with no problem. I've started to do it with the family a little bit more. Um, but, like, I'll see guys like, um, I don't know, pretty much any vlogger. They'll take it, like, in the store with them, and they, you know, they go into a restaurant, whatever. And me, I just don't have that yet. It's just a little weird. Um, but this, the form factor of it is literally, like, it can almost be, like, inside of my hand, and nobody would even really see it. And the GoPro is super small too, and it was almost to that point, uh, but not quite. This one, literally, you can wrap it up in your hand like this and never really, it's not exposed. I mean, it'll look like you're talking to your hand, which is a little weird, but, um, so I'm going to try this out probably for like 30 days, do like a little 30 day challenge, um, and, and see how I like it, uh, using it for vlogs and uh and you know whatever else i decided to use it for but really the major purpose i got it for was to try it for vlogs um so and you guys can give me your feedback also like i'm not 100 percent sure on the audio um i listened to some playback that i um recorded and it seemed okay you know vlogs are vlogs but uh the gopro the hero 4 the audio was pretty good so we'll see let me know down below um, and then the other thing is the app is really, really good. It has an iOS and an, uh, an Android app. And uh, I found that it works a lot better with the Android just because the Android will let it connect like instantaneously. When I go to the app, it'll look for the camera and connect. Whereas the iOS, you got to go back into Wi-Fi. And like at least when I'm at my house because I'm already on my Wi-Fi at the house. Um, I gotta do some more testing, so I probably shouldn't even really be saying this because maybe it's something that I'm doing. But right now, with the initial, I just picked it up like yesterday or something. Um, uh, it'll connect like right away with Android when I open the app. It'll see the camera and boom, you're there. Uh, it, but iOS, I have to go into Wi-Fi, select the camera as a Wi-Fi, and then you know 
Uh, and I'm on. I, I'm using the iOS right now. I'll show you guys um, because it has the live uh, the viewfinder, which you can see. That's like some Inception stuff. Um, but then it's also got you can do the camera time lapse. It's got slow motion. Um, uh, a lot of stuff you can do from from here. A lot of settings, much like the GoPro. Different settings for the camera, uh, you know, megapixel, ultra wide. I, I think I have the ultra wide turned off right now. Um, it gives it that GoPro wide angle look, uh, but it's almost like a fisheye. And when I put the mount up there, it didn't look like it really needed it to be ultra wide. So because when I had it ultra wide and I was testing it, it looked like when I when the camera moved a little bit, you got like some serious um, roll. So. Uh, it looked a little weird but like i said i'll be testing all that stuff out just to, to give it a shot and see see how i like this compared to the gopro uh, like i said it's two different cameras i mean that's for sure but uh you know this the form factor of this i think is fantastic even though the camera quality obviously won't be up to par with the gopro but it'll be worth uh checking out at least i think it's worth checking out